The Agnews obtained regional power in 1363, during the reign of David II when their young chief was appointed constable at the King's Castle in Loch Nore. The Agnews were given the task of evicting the previous constable, the chief of Clan McClellan, who had refused to leave. The Agnews tricked the McClellans into abandoning the castle by using a hanging man as a diversion. When the McClellans became curious and left the castle to check out the swinging body, the Agnews pounced and subdued them and occupied the castle. The Douglases became a powerful family in Lochnow by purchasing lands inherited by the Earl of Fleming who was despised by his neighbours and under pressure of retribution surrendered his lands, castle, power and privileges to Archibald Douglas for £500. The death of King David II in 1371 further increased the Douglases' power in the area, Douglas used the time before the king's nephew, Robert II, ascended to the throne to consolidate power in the area. All appointees to vacant offices in Lochnaw were forced to acknowledge the Douglases as their superiors. They decided that all officials were to swear allegiance to the Douglases at Threve. The Agnews of Lochnaw, who were loyal to the Scottish crown and felt safe at their stronghold in Lochnaw Castle refused to bend to the Douglases. Archibald Douglas ordered a group of his clansmen to Lochnaw to fetch the Agnew chief and force him to Threve. When the Agnews realised that the Douglases were on their way to Lochnaw they sent out an ambush party supported by their allies in the McEwen clan. The Agnews attacked the band of Douglases in the valley of Piltanton where a fight ensued with both parties taking casualties but neither group winning outright. The McEwans then approached the battle from the rear and were able to subdue the Douglases. The McEwans stripped the Douglases of their arms and threw their weapons into the moss. They let the Douglases go free fearing retribution from the powerful Douglas clan. In response to this defeat Archibald Douglas sent a second party of his men to Loch Nore where they besieged the Agnews in their garrison and forced an unconditional surrender. They allowed the families inside the castle to leave unmolested but then took the opportunity to destroy it by burning it and toppling its battlements. The jurisdictions of the Agnews and their lands were then bestowed onto William Douglas, the illegitimate grandson of Archibald Douglas. The Agnews appealed to the court of Robert III who was sympathetic to their cause but at the time could do little to help them. He did allow them to remain at court where the Agnew chief gained the trust of Princess Margaret who had subsequently married Archibald Douglas Jr., heir to the elder chief Douglas. After the elder Archibald died in 1401 and his son died in the Battle of Vernoy in 1424, the Agnews were able to use their influence with the crown to regain their lands in Loch Nore. They built a new castle and Andrew Agnew was appointed to the office of Heredity Sheriffs of Galloway. The Agnew family held and lived in Lochnor Castle until 1997.